Good evening, this is Ray Hayes with Global Diversity News. In today's mini podcast, we're going to discuss Claire O'Connor's Forbes.com article entitled Facebook's Pipeline Excuse Black Women in Tech Speak Out on Diversity Failure. Last week, the social media giant Facebook faced a ton of backlash in regards to its, in regards to its failure to hire more black and Hispanic employees. Black and Hispanics make up 2 and 4% of Facebook's workforce. The reason Facebook states that there is a low representation of blacks and Hispanics in the workforce based on blacks and Hispanics not having the skills to perform the necessary jobs and the fact that the edu- they are not gaining these skills from their educational system or the school backgrounds that they're coming from, which is very true. There has been a big push for computer science, computer science in the black and Hispanic school districts. However, that's not just the only excuse. Facebook is not hiring more black and Hispanics. It also has to deal with the culture fit. The culture fit, well, culture fit, let me say this, means best employees, the best employees are all like-minded. Black and Hispanics, Asian and whites, all have different perspectives. Now, you can say one has a better perspective. However, they're all different. No matter which one is better or which one is worse. They're all different perspectives. We have to tie into the fact that even if you have the necessary skills, but you don't fit in, or you're not necessarily a culture fit, you most likely won't get hired with the Silicon Valley companies such as a Facebook. However, when it comes to hiring famous and well-known black and Hispanic employees, Facebook never fails. They'll hire them left and right. So, it's more to it. We cannot only focus on the fact that the educational system is not correcting the problem when it comes to teaching blacks and Hispanics more about the technological skills and the technological, technological and computer science field in general. It's not just the educational field. We still have to look at a culture fit. The idea of people having like minds, which is not necessarily good or bad, but it's more tour than just the net, like I said, the educational skills. With a ton of people on Twitter and a lot of people in the tech field who are black and Hispanic have pointed out. And Mrs. O'Connor states that in her Forbes.com article. Once again, this is Ray Hayes with Global Diversity News. Please follow us on Twitter at GDN Network. Please like our Facebook page, Global Diversity News, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening and taking time out of your day to have these brief few seconds with me to discuss this article. Once again, this is Ray Hayes. Thank you and good night.